So today we're doing more thumbnails in Photoshop, not Mr. Beast thumbnails, but they're kind of inspired by his thumbnails. And I think we have to admit that all these big YouTubers' thumbnails kind of are all inspired by Mr. Beast, right? I'm talking about the, the shadows, the highlights, the white teeth, the white eyes and all that. I feel like all those thumbnails are kind of like following the same path, right? So today we're gonna create more of that in this video. But this time I'm gonna start from scratch, right? Usually I follow a model, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and find some different images and uh, put them together into like a fake uh, thumbnail. All right, let's get started. So I find this image of this guy, right? He's standing kind of like this. Uh, he seems to be uh, a gamer, right? He's in this like, what looks to be like a gaming room. He has headsets. So uh, I'm gonna use this image, but first I'm going to mask him out. And to mask out someone in Photoshop, I always use the pen tool. Now I'm sure there are quicker ways uh, to do this now, but I'm just used to doing it with the pen tool. And also that way I can get more details, right? I can really go in there and um, mask out the parts that I need to. Okay, so now that he's masked out, I'm going to put him in a, a gaming room, right? So I found this image of a gaming room. So I'm just gonna put him in there. I'm gonna add this kind of like purple light in the background, right? Kind of like there's a strobe light on the floor, maybe, I don't know. And I made it purple because it fits the vibe, right? Okay, then I'm gonna add some blur to the background to make him stand out a little bit more. Next thing I'm going to do is add a camera raw filter, right? I'm gonna up the shadows, uh, do some noise reduction and all that stuff. Perfect. And now the good old shadows and highlights, right? This is um, mostly called dodge and dirt, dodge and burn. Sorry. Okay, adding some shadows. It gives a, like a cartoony effect, but that's the look we're going for. Now I'm doing the highlights. Perfect. I don't want to do too much. Yeah, I think that looks fine. We're gonna do now. We're gonna do the highlights. If you guys want me to do a video, a tutorial of like how to do highlights, I mean, there's so many already out there, but if you want me to do one, I don't mind, just leave a comment below and uh, who knows, maybe the next video would be a uh, highlights tutorial. I'm gonna do some highlights in blue, some highlights in purple, a little bit on the headset. That works just fine. I'm gonna add this kind of like blue behind him Kind of like there's this big light behind him i think i don't know if it makes much sense but it looks looks good okay now i think we're good with the highlights the shadows the dodging and burning um so now there's this like empty spot on the right side and i think i'm gonna add something maybe the youtube logo let's try that i'm gonna add some shadows on the youtube logo some highlights to make it look kind of like 3d yeah, this looks nice. This looks nice. I might not stick with this. Uh, we'll see. I might change it. Some more shadows. Then maybe I'm going to add some text. I don't know, gaming. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is all right. But I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go for something else. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for something else. Because, I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but I feel like I can do better. So I'm gonna add another person. Uh, yeah, I, find, I found this image of this guy, and it's perfect because he's looking in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna mask him out. Now, the, the as you can see, the skin tones are horrible, right? He, he looks too pale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a camera raw filter, right? And then let's fix the skin tones. Okay, as you can see before, after, much better. And now I'm gonna copy basically the same effects I did on the other guy, the highlights, the dodging, the burning. Looks pretty good so far. Looks pretty good so far. Under the highlights. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna change, uh... wait, I'm gonna add a camera roll filter just to see what we have so far. Okay. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, I think I'm gonna change the logo. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put like a Photoshop logo instead. I, f I feel like it fits more my channel, right? So, again, same thing. I'm changing the logo. 
adding some shadows and highlights here and there. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. And I feel like now I'm just doing the final touchings, like the final steps, right? Okay. Adding some more color, some more light. Perfect. A final camera raw filter. And boom. Okay. I think we're done. Right now, I did cut a lot of things out. Uh, I feel like this took me roughly about an hour, an hour and a half to create. So it went pretty quick, I think. I think uh, I think it's pretty good. Again, if there's any tutorials you guys want to see, anything you guys want me to cover, uh, just leave a comment because these aren't really tutorials. These are more like breakdowns or where you guys are following me along as I create these. Um, these thumbnails but if you want me to make a more detailed tutorial just leave that in the comment below but not just that but also what you would like me to cover all right so what do you guys think of this um uh, i think it's pretty good honestly okay might be a little much on the highlights i don't know but uh thank you for watching this video i hope you found it entertaining and uh don't forget to like leave a comment subscribe if you learned something new or if you were entertained by this video and uh keep creating stay creative god bless you and i will see you in the next one bye